In this tutorial we look at configuring our menu data. If you need to see how to add the menu control on, then go back and view the last, menu, or the last video about adding the menu controls. But um, to configure the data, we don't monk around with either of these guys. This just displays our menus, our menu control does, and our sitemap data source makes a connection between our menu and our data file. So before we go look at the data, let's look at the structure of our website and kind of the, you know, how we want to build our menus. That's the first thing you really need to do is talk to your customer, decide how do you want, you know, what do you want to say in your menus over here? And what do you want to be a menu and what do you want to be on a submenu? That kind of thing. So if we look at our data here, um, you know, we have the different degrees at our programs. We have a database degree and I have a default page for the database degree and then I made a jobs page in there. Then same thing with the help desk. There's a help desk default page and then a jobs page. And we could do this. We could put classes underneath of the, each of these. But we'll start out this way. And what we want to do is make build our menu so that we can say, when we say help desk, we go to the default. But underneath help desk, we might want to also go see jobs. And then our home page is going to take us to this default that's underneath the main project. So to build the data, we open up this sitemap file. And in the sitemap, this is an XML file, and it's you, you, when you start out, even with a blank one, you're going to get something. So you're going to get this first line that says it's a sitemap, and this is the close tag associated with it. And then we're going to get sitemap nodes, and we get two kinds of sitemap nodes, although they are both, they both look like this. They both start with sitemap node. The difference is how they end. If it ends with just a greater than, that means it's a top-level menu, and there's going to be menus displayed underneath it, like pull rights or pull downs. And if it ends with a slash greater than, that means it's a menu item with no children, so there'll be no pull rights or no pull downs. So when we start building our menus, we need to keep track of which type we have. And if we end with a greater than, that means we're going to have a close tag like this that goes along with this. And so you can see over here, this actually collapses for us. And so it shows us this menu, this first top one, which title is Home, has two children, one called Internet and one called Database. And if we go back and look at our menu when we run this, we kind of see this here. We told it to display two levels of menu so we don't see just the Home. But we can fix that. Let's click on our menu. Control. I'm going to go to Source. I'm sorry, i got to be on the Master Page to do that. So go to the Master Page, click on the Menu Control. And then down here for his properties, oops, sorry, I got the wrong thing there. On the master page, we will click on the menu control and go to his properties and say how many levels to show it's static. And we'll just make that one. And then you see we only see home, but when we run this, we'll only see home. But when we pull right on that guy, then we see Internet and Database. So Internet and Database are children of home. Um, normally, we don't want to have to pull right to see those first, what we consider the first level. So to fix that, what I used to do is go to Master Page and set that static display level from 1 to 2. Okay, that takes care of that problem. But what we really want to do now is fix up our map data. So what I want to do is, in this case, I don't want Internet to be just one level. Underneath Internet, I also want to see the jobs. So I'm going to change this and close it with this. And you notice it automatically puts a close tag on there for me. And now what I'm going to do is make another sitemap node and say the URL for this one is tilde slash internet slash jobs dot ASPX and its title Oh, and let's just make sure everybody's clear on this. This tilde for uh, ASP.NET control says go to the top level directory and then go down the internet folder. That's what this part does. And then go into jobs. So the tilde says make sure and go to the top level directory. Okay, then that's the file we want to go to if somebody chooses this. The title is what do we want to show on the menu. So I want to say jobs here. And actually, I'm going to capitalize these guys too. So where I said internet where I said database. And then the description, we also want to put a description on. This is, um, if you hold the mouse over it, the tooltip text that pops up. 
and also for accessibility. So we'll just say internet jobs here and we'll put this on here too, say CBC internet degree and uh, then the last one I'm going to do is finish this one, but again this one has no children so I'm going to finish it this way. And then we do the same thing down here for database. I'm going to just get rid of that close tag and close it this way. And you notice then it puts on a slash sitemap node. So now I can, anything I put between the start sitemap node and sitemap node are going to be children of the database menu. So I'm going to actually, you know what, I'm just going to copy this one and paste it here and then change this from internet to database. And we'll also change the description out here to say database jobs. Now, if I want to add another main menu item, like say for the multimedia degree, well, I can just copy this section because it's so I'll copy that, paste it in, and then change where it says database. I'll change this to multi media get the path correct and change this to multi media and let's say that we also do this that we add in another one here under multimedia we add in classes so we'll add a new item another web page call it classes.aspx choose our master page and we'll just come put a little text on here so we know what we're looking at and we'll see it on the menu and we'll say multimedia classes save the file but now again to add this to the site map I want this one to pop out underneath the multimedia one so I want it to be here and I want it to end with, like, with a slash greater than oops sorry And, but on this one, I want to say, oops, and I want to change this here too to multi media jobs, multi media classes. And we'll change this to say classes. And we'll say, change this to say classes. Okay, let's go test this out now. So we'll test out our new sitemap. So we'll save everything. We'll go to our default page, start it up. And now you notice we got the two static levels, the first level and anything underneath it. But in Internet Now, we got this pull right to get jobs. And our database, we can pull right to see jobs. And let's just open one of these up. It says database jobs. Click on the top level one that just takes the database degree. We we'll go to multimedia and we can go to jobs or classes. So the ones that are pulling right over here are the ones that end with the slash greater than. And anyone that has ends with just um, a greater than. We'll s you notice it has the little triangle out here to indicate that it does have a pull right. So let's go back and close this and just review one more time. This website map data. If it, if this sitemap node ends with a greater than, then there's got to be a matching close tag. So there's a matching close tag for this guy here, and then anything inside of that, we will it will be pull rights for this particular menu item. We can have pull rights within pull rights. We can go as many levels as we want. Although practic, you know, in practicality, you really only want to go two levels. You, you know, you can violate that rule, but that's one of the basic usability rules is don't, you know, don't have 14 levels of menus. Try to have just two. Okay, and then again, if we don't want to have children, and this is going to be a menu item, we end with a slash greater than. So we either nest them or don't nest them. If, again, if they're nested inside another one, then they are a, uh, they would be a pull right, or it'd have to pull right to access this. Just, I'm sorry, putting the description in here. Okay, and again, that's the site map. And to um, get the sitemap, maybe we didn't go over that, 
you right click up on here on the project say add new item and then down here there's oops add a site map it's already got a couple we've been messing around with this before so we've got a cup out here and let's just show you this if you add a new one what you get you get this much of it so you get kind of the first level with two children underneath it and you can fill in the information okay but that's it for the site maps